hello guys welcome to my channel welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial uh, we're going to teach you uh, how to make asphalt in substance designer and well, let's start okay first thing first the first thing that we need is a noise that called actual sum base number two you can uh, choose any other uh, any other noise maps that you want I choose this one and you can see the uh, settings for that node for this uh, noise map and uh, in other hand we have this noise map called cells 4 if we put the scale on 437 Disorder on point three, and yeah, I connected this to the blur node intensity on one point two. Then I hooked it on to levels node. You can see the settings right here. Then I connected it to the background for the blend node, and the first noise map that we had is called actual sum base 2 to the foreground and this part is important because it's very useful you can it's let me show you just let me show you okay so let me zoom into my uh, to my material as you can see it's really bumpy and maybe some of you don't like this kind of asphalt which is understandable there's no problem to that one thing that you can do is to put the cells straight into levels without connecting to the blue and here is our result you can see the change it's not super bumpy like before but still you can see the details and the roughness the way that light bounces on it and if you zoom on it you can see the details right here which is pretty cool maybe you want to use this one use this method it's very clean and good now let's back uh, connect the blur into it and the way that we are um, blending it by the way it's max lighten the other way that you can blend it is called min darken which gives you this kind of result which is uh, very smooth, it's like a super clean new asphalt without any, without any flaws which looks very good and um, but that's not super realistic, it's super smooth and uh, I honestly don't, don't want my uh, material, my asphalt be as smooth as this so one thing that you can do is again like before connect the cells noise map straight to the levels and here just like before you can see the difference or uh, what you can do is go to the blend node and uh, yeah bring down the opacity not that much that's that's too much maybe on 0.7 which gives you a bit more like damage looking or some kind of like bumps into it let me put it back on 1 super smooth and somewhere like 0.6 you can see it or even more 0.4 now you can really see it which looks very cool yeah that's what you can do so I'm going to put it back on my uh, my own settings maybe you want other settings to work with it doesn't matter you can do what you want so uh, next thing that what you want uh, the next thing that you want to do is to connect the blend node into level node into roughness 
and here is the setting for my uh, for my roughness in the levels node maybe you want to play around maybe you want it be more shiny bring that down or less shiny bring it up here depends on you and the same node from blend we we are going to connect it to normal node i put the intent intensity on 7.6 maybe you want more intensity or less depends on you and let's for the details part now let's go for the colors two things that we uh, we need to bring two uniform color node one on black one on white and we need two blend node we put the uh, uniform color on the both blend nodes on background and white color on foreground so for first blend node we need we don't change the blending mode it's on copy but on cropping area the left here as you can see here left section should be 0.93 but on the other blend node the left section should be 0 but the right section should be 0 0.07 let me show you one more one more time the settings 0 0.93 1 0 1 here 0 0 0.07 0 1 as you can see right here and we are going to blend them together as uh, as copy left area 0 0.93 right and one top zero bottom one here we can see the lines on the sides of the asphalt and we are going to blend it with the uniform color of yellow uh, our blend node goes to the background uniform color of foreground and here is the settings left on 0 0.47 right on 0 0.54 on 0 0.36 bottom on 0 0.6 here is our result for the color and we are going to connect it to the base color and that's going to be our final result you can see right here and that's it hope you guys enjoy this tutorial make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any question make sure to comment it comment if you have requests for any tutorials and i see you guys in the next tutorial goodbye